In this problem, we want to find the following compositions. So we got uh, f of x is equal to 3 over x, and g of x is equal to 3 over x. Part A. We want to find the composition of f and g, which is f of g. So we're going to take our f of, <coughs> f of x, excuse me, <coughs> which is 3 over x, and everywhere we have an x, we'll put in parentheses. So I got 3 over a set of parentheses. And this is just evaluating a function. So whatever's inside this parentheses, which is g, is what we're going to plug in here. But g was equal to 3 over x. Now this is a complex fraction, uh, complex rational expression, if you want to think of it that way. There's two ways of simplifying it. I'm going to go with the way that works 100% of the time. We'll multiply everything by the LCM of all your inner denominators. Now this x is our inner denominator, so I'll multiply the top part by x, and I'll multiply the bottom part by x. When we do that, that uh, gives us 3x up on top, and down below here, these x's are going to cancel, and we're left with 3. Now those 3's are going to cancel, and we get x. Now b. We want to find a composition of g and f, which is g of f. Same idea. We're going to go through in our g of x, and everywhere we have an x, we'll put in parentheses. So I got 3 over a set of parentheses. This is evaluating the function, so whatever's inside this parentheses is we're going to plug in here. But we have f here, and f was 3 over x. Now notice, this is the same as this over here, isn't it? So this is automatically going to give us x also. <coughs> Excuse me. Our last part. We want to find the composition of f and g and then plug 3 in for x. Well, we already found the composition of f and g in part a, and it was just equal to x, so we'll put 3 in for the x, and uh, once we put 3 in for the x, we're actually done with that. And those are our answers.